Hello, welcome. This is the Woman Agenda, the only place you need to be uh, when it comes to women, the, uh, women news, up, upcoming fem uh, female talent, uh, if it, upcoming female um, shows. We've got a live uh, interview with a female artist this Friday as well. Ignore me what I'm saying. It's the, the COVID booster effects. Sunday, 10 p.m. UK time, live interview. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be amazing. Lots of stuff happening. This is the Music Express Zone, exclusive to the Woman Agenda. And we're talking about some amazing female talent and uh, the, the artists, female artists, and so much more. Uh, like we do let's just uh, jump straight into this you can see below how to uh, promote yourself uh, on this uh, with the woman agenda podcast if you want to promote your brand there's only one place you need to be and it is with us and any type of brand get in touch and we will speak now the first news which i want to talk about the first thing i want to talk about is a rising female talent but before we do let's talk about a dance artist uh, last week we talked about madonna this week we're talking about another one interesting artist and the artist name is judy watley now who is judy watley she's a very famous dance artist and a bestseller let's let's just uh, Let's talk about her. Now, Jodie Watley is actually number one top dance female artist. This is a list by Mark on RatioMusic.com, courtesy of. Jodie Watley started her career as a vocalist in disco forward slash funk group Shalama in 1987. She started her solo career, releasing Jodie Watley's album that spawned no less than five top 10 dance hits. Her latest number one dance hit is a cover of a classic chick song, I Want Your Love. Now, Jody Whitley also has an amazing website. It is jodywatley.net forward slash jodywatley bio forward slash. You need to check her website out. It's really good and informative. Now, about Jody Watley in her own words, she's a singer slash songwriter, producer as well, and a businesswoman. She's one of the architects of 21st century pop. From a groundbreaking career of rap and R&B, 1987's Friends and a collaboration with hip-hop legend Eric B. and Rakim, to her vision forward marriage of high fashion, street fashion, and music in the 80s. Long before it became the norm to her fusion of jazz and underground club culture with keen pop instincts and the ease with which she crossed and still crosses genre, Jodie Watley forced the template that this is now everybody's playbook. Win of the best new country grammar in 1987, Watley's entire career has been about looking forward, drawing inspiration from personal heroes and a icon class who were who were and are always 10 steps ahead of the pack the chicago natives uh, eclectic uh, repertoire r&b hip-hop house jazz pop drama and bass and be it spoke award is built on a positive vision and, a, and is a strong taste for ar artistic and uh, aesthetic risk appointed as a first ambassador to the national museum of african American music in 2021. John Watley has a career filled with ongoing firsts. Her first, her self-titled 1987 solo debut, a showcase for her vocal chops and songwriting skills, was beats and grooves tribute to her club kid roots. From the underground spots she frequented as a teenager to a stardom, while still a teen, as one of the most popular dancers in the history of iconic TV show Soul Train. It yielded the chart topping hits like the Grammy nominated Looking for a New Love, which launched the Jodie Penn phrase Hasta la Vista into a popular 
vernacular become so huge that Arnold Schwarzenegger jacked it for his signature line in the movie The Terminator. Oh, I didn't even know that was that's from her, to be honest. Uh, don't you want me, most of all, some kind of love and still a thrill? Whose video was the first and as yet unmatched time a pop star flexed the skills at uh, walking the underground Los Angeles dance? Did that is this is a sibling to both break dancing and void. 1989's larger than life, a blockbuster sophomore album yielded the hits Real Love, whose influential music video nominated for seven MTV Video Music Awards was her second collaboration with acclaimed film director David Fincher, the first being her sleek video for most of, of all. Friends featuring Eric B and Rekim, the first rap and song collaboration with pop and R&B singer and rapper to cross over top 10 Hot 100 and R&B, rap, hip hop, and dance along with sultry ballad. Everything they were all huge hits. That's basically breaking that down. Um, there's a lot of stuff on there. I mean, uh, she has links like uh, on tour, uh, discovery, uh, discovery. Hopefully, I said that nice. Telling about her was and everything like that. Uh, she got a press kit on there as well. Lots of stuff there. Um, there's a lot of stuff. I, I think I might do a, a booking as well myself, to be honest. Uh, it's lots of uh, amazing stuff on there. Lots of amazing stuff. Wow. Uh, uh, lots of stuff, which um, is a very informative website. I, I've got to say, uh, very, very amazing website there uh, by John uh, Watley. We are going to talk a bit about um, some other amazing new, uh, amazing talent as well. And there's one I want to talk about is as soon as I can get the slide up. It is Shebo. It's a new female artist called Shebo. Now, the thing about Shebo is, let's bring her up here. So Shebo is a South London MC. She's called South London MC Shebo, one of the most exciting talents on the UK music scene right now. Never want to miss a bar. The 24-year-old British Nigerian rapper is known, is known for her electric freestyles as well as popular singles, Go Bail and New Track Streets as well as No Pressure, which she performed for Viral. Berlin-based music platform. Color stories early this year. Most recently, Shebo, whose music is inspired by her Nigerian roots and London lifestyle, featured on Georgia Smith's sultry single Bust Down. This is courtesy of Glamour Magazine Korike. So that is um, Shebo, and which is um, absolutely amazing. Now let's talk about um, 
another amazing female artist, rising female artist, and her name is, let's have a look. Cardi B. And what's amazing about Cardi B, we've got some news about Cardi B as well, which we will be talking about. Let's have a look at Cardi B. Uh, first of all, she's from the top 35 best new female artists, courtesy of extrawave.com. And let's have a look. She's been raised in the Bronx, New York. Cardi B was a former TV personality known for um, amicable attitude. Following her departure from the series Love and Hip Hop, she attained success in music with a chart topping this Muslim smash, Body Yak Yellow. The singer obtained the top spot on, on the Billboard Hot 100, which marked the first time this was achieved by a female rapper since Laurie Hill did the same with Do Wop that thing in 1999. Now Cardi B, we have some news about Cardi B as well, which I will be dropping in in a second, courtesy of CapitalExtra.com. Uh, now, there were some rumors that she's had some plastic surgery, but the news has come out. Cardi B is very open about her experience with plastic surgery. She underwent a breast augmentation in her teens and had another one after welcoming her daughter, Culture. She also had the lip liposuction after giving birth in 2018. She had revealed she once got butt injections in someone's basement for 800. So yes, there is some truth into that, basically. That is a fact about it. There is some fact on that. But um, another fact is that it is time for the top Spotify sing female singles. So let's have a check who is shining and who isn't and who's, who's number one and, and who isn't. Let's have a look. Courtesy of Spotify. Of course, Spotify.com. So let's let's go straight from the bottom to the top. And we are gonna do the top 15. Uh, because if we did more than that, I would be here all day, as you guys probably know. So number 15 added on the September the 3rd. This is Taylor Swift Majori. And the album is called Evermore. And this is a number 15. Number 14, we have Millie Cyrus, WTF, Do I Know, from the album Plastic Hearts, added on the September the 3rd as well. Uh, number 13, we have Ariana Grande's Shut Up, Albums Positions, added on the June the 30th this year. Number 12, Zara Larson, Sabrina Carpenter, Wow, featuring Sabrina Carpenter. And the album is the same as well, while featuring the Brina Carpenter. And it's September the 3rd. Number 11, Ava Max Salt from the album Heaven and Hell. And it's June 30th. And number 10, the very, very popular little mix, Sawiti, so Confetti Fishing Sawiti. And the album is of the same name, Confetti Fishing Sawiti as well. And it's May the 20th. Number nine, my girlfriends are my boyfriend. Demi Lovato and Sawiti. Album called Dancing with the Devil. That is September the 3rd. Number eight is called Look What You Done. Zara Larson. Album is called Look What You Done. May 24th, I did on. Number seven, Slow Club with Sawiti. Gwen Stefani and, and Sawiti. And the album is called Slow Club with Sweetie as well. Number six is Test Drive, Arena Grande, and her from album Positions to Looks, that is September the 3rd. Number five is Marina, Venus Flytrap, from the album Asian Dreams in a Modern Land, that is on June 30th. We have number four is Jesse J, I Want Love, from the album I Want Love. Number three is Lordy Solar Power 
from the album Solar Power. Number two is Lizzo and Cardi B. Rumors featuring Cardi B on the album is same rumors featuring Cardi B. That is September the 3rd. And number one, it is Build a Bitch. I know, so that this is what is called Bella Poor Porch, and the album is called The Same Build a Bitch as well. Uh, Are they May the 20th? So reminding everybody, I never said that. Yeah, this is something which is which is um, done uh, on there. Now, if you want to promote your product on any any of these shows, uh, we have a weekly the Woman Agenda weekly show. We started that yesterday, uh, which is uh, going to be a, a daily weekday show. Today I haven't been able to do it had some side effects with the COVID booster, though I, I have no regret of taking it. But, uh, you know, you do get these side effects and unfortunately there's nothing one can do about them. So obviously I've not been able to in uh, go live and do a, a live interactive The Woman Agenda uh, daily, sh- daily show, which will, which will air Monday to Friday. I've not been able to do it today. I'm hoping to do one special the Woman Agenda show tomorrow, uh, as, as well as um, the Asian Connection, which which happened at 9 o'clock on the Woman Agenda channel. So don't forget to click on the like button, please. And if, like I said, you can, you can, you can promote your products on any of these shows. You can, you've seen how many hits I'm getting, how many views we get. It makes sense, doesn't it, to promote your stuff on here? Individuals can do it as well and send us your comments. Appreciate everyone's comments which they've sent. And it, it, that's the only way to find out when, when we go live, when the videos go added on, is by uh, clicking on subscribe, subscribing. That's the way to do it. So that's about it. It's a bit of a shorter version of Music Express's zone because my, my energy levels aren't that great, like I said, with these side effects. So due to that, it's a little bit cut short, the Music Express zone um, this week, but next week obviously will be a bit longer. So guys, I will be back tomorrow, like I said, with the Woman Agenda special show, talking about what... Uh, the, the guest which could which coming on on Sunday the interview uh, loads of other stuff women news tomorrow on the woman agenda special tomorrow and obviously nine o'clock the Asian connection so that's that so how, enjoy the rest of the Friday what are we doing morning afternoon or evening or nighttime enjoy it have a great rest of the day have a fab weekend and I will and I will see you tomorrow.